Hepatitis C liver disease, caused by the hepatitis C virus, referred to as HCV, can be acute or chronic. Although most persons, 70 to 85 percent, with newly acquired HCV infection are asymptomatic, most, up to 85 percent, will go on to have chronic infection. Those who clear the virus on their own are said to have resolved infection. Since antiviral treatment is intended for persons with current HCV infection, it is important to distinguish people with chronic infection from those whose infection has resolved. In recently acquired HCV infection, liver enzymes may be elevated to 200 international units per liter or more. This is depicted here by the enzyme alanine aminotransferase, ALT, shown in blue. Since most newly infected persons have no symptoms of hepatitis, they are often not identified and diagnosed with acute hepatitis C. If symptoms do occur, as depicted by the purple bar, it is usually 6 to 7 weeks after exposure, ranging from 2 to 26 weeks, and they persist during the time when enzyme levels are elevated. About 40% of persons infected will have detectable antibody to HCV, called anti-HCV and represented by the solid pink line in serum approximately 10 to 11 weeks after exposure, with the percent increasing to 80% by 15 weeks, and virtually all infected persons will present the antibodies by 6 months following exposure. When following up someone with a known exposure to HCV, this is important to keep in mind. Anti-HCV remains positive generally for life. HCV ribonucleic acid, HCV RNA, a marker for viremia, can be detected in the blood with a nucleic acid test, also known as a NAT assay, as early as one to two weeks after exposure. In patients with recently acquired HCV infection who resolved their infection, liver enzyme levels return to normal and HCV RNA disappears as anti-HCV rises. Antibody tests alone Either rapid or laboratory-conducted assays cannot distinguish between a recently acquired, chronic, or resolved infection. Chronic infection is characterized by the persistent presence of HCV RNA, shown in yellow, and may be accompanied by fluctuating ALT levels, shown in blue, indicating continuing liver inflammation. ALT levels seen in patients with chronic HCV infection are elevated, but tend to be lower than patients with recently acquired HCV infection. In fact, ALTs can be intermittently normal in patients with chronic infection. Here is the recommended testing sequence for identifying current HCV infection. If the HCV antibody, anti-HCV, test result is non-reactive, there is no detectable antibody to HCV and unless there are special circumstances, such as recently exposed, immunocompromised, or other special medical circumstances, the person can be considered never infected, and therefore susceptible. If anti-HCV is reactive, this indicates either current HCV infection, past HCV infection that has resolved, or false positive test result. A reactive anti-HCV test result should be followed by a NAT for HCV RNA. If HCV RNA is detected, this indicates current HCV infection. If HCV RNA is not detected, this indicates either past HCV infection that has resolved or a false positive anti-HCV test result. As with a non-reactive anti-HCV test result, a person with a negative HCV RNA test who has a known or expected exposure to HCV within the prior six months or with other medical issues that may impact test results should be followed up as recommended elsewhere. This segment is now complete. <laughs>